Vendasta's business app is your portal that provides an incredible experience to all of your local business clients. Let's take a few minutes to customize business app so the experience you provide is tailored exactly to your offerings. From partners.vendasta.com, click Businesses, then Manage Business App. From here, you'll find information and articles about Business App, and you'll be able to customize Business App. Here, you'll find a big list of all the different pages in Business App that you can customize. I won't go through every single one of these as they all include helpful articles and tooltips along the way, but I will highlight some of the most important points. Starting in branding, you can choose if you want to display your company's logo in the footer or header of Business App. You can also rename Business App. You can change this to whatever you want and it'll display that way all throughout the platform. Next, work through each of the pages that appear in Business App. As you do this, you'll notice that each one has an option to show this page. If you uncheck this, then every one of your Business App users will no longer have access to that page. So keep that in mind when you're turning these on or off. On the Get Started page, you'll be able to specify exactly what will be visible to your clients, and you can even add an onboarding video and customize it with your own link from YouTube. You'll notice similar functionality inside of the Dashboard page. You can turn on or off different features. And this is the same inside of pages like Inbox Messages. This is also where you can choose if you want your customers to be able to start conversations with you all within the platform, flowing through to Partner Center. In the Executive Report page, you can rearrange the sections of the Executive Report just like that. Most of these other pages will simply give you the option on whether or not you want to show these pages. But in the Guides page, you can add your own WordPress blog so that your customers can see interesting updates and articles that you share from your website. The Connections page is one of the few pages that you're not able to hide by default but you can choose if you'd like your clients to be able to connect their QuickBooks account. Next, let's take a quick look at notifications. From here, you can access notification settings. If you click this, you'll be directed to a page where you can set default notifications for new users. Keep in mind that this isn't going to update notification settings for existing users, but that can be done through the bulk update link here. From the Notification tab, you can choose which notifications are going to be turned on or off for your new users. By default, all notifications are enabled, and they come in two main forms. Instant email notifications that get sent the moment an event occurs, and daily digest emails that wrap up a bunch of updates into a single email at the end of the day. Keep in mind that your users will be able to update their own notification preferences. So you can keep these defaults and they can change it to match whatever they prefer. Back to the main business app customization page, you'll see that here are settings for creating a global notification banner. This is great for having temporary or permanent messages at the bottom of your business app for your customers. And you can also choose an email campaign that gets sent out every time that a new user logs into the platform for the first time. Finally, under multi-location, you can set the default reporting period for multi-location executive reports. And there you have it. In just a few clicks, you can customize your client's experience in Business App. Before I go, an important reminder. Remember to hit the Save button after updating any of the settings in the different sections.